एप्लाइन साइंस ट्रिपल टू जीरो टू सेमेस्टर टू प्रैक्टिकल नंबर टू टाइटल ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर टू इज डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ द बायसी फोर्स ऑन अ सॉलिड इमर्स्ड इन अ लिक्विड बाय यूजिंग आर्किमिडीज प्रिंसिपल द प्रिंसिपल स्टेट्स दैट वेन अ बॉडी इज इमर्स्ड इन अ लिक्विड loses weight by an amount equal to the weight of the liquid displaced the resources required are overflow can stone object measuring cylinder 500 ml beaker with salty water and spring balance 500 ml beaker with tap water weighing balance iron stand verification of archimedes principle for tap water overflow can with tap water iron block spring balance iron stand 250 ml beaker weighing balance wooden base the spring balance is hung on the iron stand take the iron block and hang it on the spring balance weight of the iron block is displayed as 850 g place the overflow can with tap water on wooden base place the empty beaker on the weighing balance note down the weight on the balance bring the holder in the spring balance with the iron block down into the overflow can fully immerse iron block into the tap water water displayed in the beaker is equal to weight of the block the weighing balance reading is 210 g weight of the iron block is 750 g overflow can wooden block this is experimental setup procedure 1 find the range and least count of the spring balance and measuring cylinder the range of spring balance used during this practical is 50 g least count of the spring balance is 5 g acceleration due to gravity g is equal to 9.81 meter per second square table a for the tap water all the readings are summarized in this table table b for the strongly salted water in the final column difference in loss in weight of solid and weight of the displaced salted water ws salted minus ww salted calculation part a ws tap minus ww tap from table a two readings we have taken and from table b two readings we have taken from the experiment the result is buoyant force is determined by using archimedes principle interpretation of result buoyant force of tap water is less than that of salt water the conclusion and recommendation from this experiment are when a solid is fully immersed in a liquid it loses weight which is equal to the weight of the liquid it displaces and weight of the solid in air minus weight of the solid when immersed in liquid is equal to loss in weight of the solid equal to weight of the liquid displaced